So welcome back to Tech Dudes Weekly. Um, this week we're talking about something that's kind of uh, something Dave and I have been kicking around for a while, and then we stumbled across uh, some folks on the internet, nothing of all places, right? Nothing yeah. that uh, are thinking kind of similar to how we are. Nothing. And part of that is uh, anybody who's watched this channel knows that we're big Apple fans. We haven't been shy about that. You know, we have uh, probably one of everything that Apple has. Mine sans the. Um, vision pro because yeah. well i'm just not going to spend money on that nope. but you know i have an iphone an ipad you know i have a macbook pro there are, everything i have is pro including a pro max phone airpod pros nothing i guess i have too much pro in my life nothing but uh <laughs> you got pro regardless you had yeah i mean you know i i bought into it because you know it's the apple, apple ecosystem everything works well together and you know, I've, I've come to the mindset, and I think Dave has as well, that am I carrying too many things around just to get through, you know, my work day to do the, the work the way I want it? Because, you know, I sit down at my desk, and my MacBook is typically plugged into a dock with an external screen. And then when I want to go downstairs and watch TV or, you know, to kind of surf the web while I'm doing that, I grab my iPad. And, of course, my phone is always strapped to me somehow, you know, with my watch, you know, and... I, I've been asking myself, you know, total of the dollars, it's a lot of money. Knowing those devices, and when I look going forward, can I justify going from an M1, you know, Pro and my MacBook to an M3? Probably not. I think there's no real reason to do it. Nothing is, you know, just screaming, I need more performance. Mm -hmm. And my iPad, that's an expensive device. Nothing, and the trade in value has just plummeted. And oh, yeah. so and that I, I have the you know the introduction of the m1 ipad so i didn't do the m2 now the m3 is coming out so i go to trade these things in and i try to add them up to get back to where i am now i keep starting to think that are there other alternative ecosystems that my money is better spent on and it gives me a better workflow you know i hate to go back to you know just saying it but it was microsoft actually onto something with surface mm -hmm. now do i need to step back and say oh, could i carry something like that and that's my pc can still you know, rip the keyboard off of it nothing and now it's my tablet you know is it the best of all worlds no but it's one device to carry no matter what i'm doing and it's good enough and that that's yep. something that we've we talked about in the promo video we just did i think for this quarter that good enough now sometimes need to be considered because good enough blends performance with cost Yep. Nothing. And before, I think we were spending on cost, and you know, maybe it was overkill. Nothing. And now I'm carrying a lot of devices around and spending a lot of money. So, Dave, you came across a very interesting article on the internet, and that's what prompted us doing this video, is that this person, we said, okay, maybe we're not alone. There's other people thinking this way. So let me bring up that article, Dave, and maybe you could run through it if that's cool. Yeah, you and I have had this conversation, and it really kicked off um, with regards to you know trading, getting new devices and things like that. This article I stumbled across, I mean, the guy posted it. I'm assuming it's a guy. Sorry, based on what I'm reading, it sounds like it's a guy. Um, Sunday at 834, a few days ago. Um, the funny thing is, when I read through this article and I sent it to you, you made the comment that if I didn't know better, you'd have posted this article yourself. And it's almost verbatim what you and I have been talking about as far as what is the value to Apple at this point. Um and I, I don't know that's a I, I can't say that's gonna change anymore. Ever since the M1s came out, granted, it was a awesome platform. Everything for me has been into we've we've went into the TikTok era again, not the application. I'm talking about what processors and so forth that Apple's doing. But this guy talks about how there's no more value in the Apple. Um ecosystem and he's an all Apple guy, a hundred percent from what I can see in here. Um, one of the things though he talks about is the ability to do certain things at a price point. You made the comment about, we both got M1 Pro iPads. We both got M1s. I've got a studio, you've got a MacBook Pro, but there's, there's nothing revolutionary anymore about anything that's happening here. Um, he calls in, the, in, in here the convenience for lock in is a bargain. In, 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 ugh, can't talk. The convenience for lock in is a bargain I am no longer willing to make, and I shouldn't. Apple should want their products to work well with other products just for from a business use perspective. I get that 100%. Um, 
everybody talks about the blue bubble. You know, I don't have the blue bubble because you're, you're in an Apple eco because I'm not in an Apple ecosystem. I don't see the relevance anymore for staying in it because I can do so much more for less money with other devices. Now, let me preface that by saying, does that mean I'm going to dump everything Apple 100%? No, but I am going to say bye bye to a lot of their products. I'll still use an iPhone because it just freaking works. Now, am I going to go out and get the latest iPhone? No, I'm still on a 12 Pro because nothing so far has changed to make me want to go to anything else and spend any more money. I've got I, th more I think that, that, that's key right there, Dave, because and you said it just a little bit ago, too, is that the hardware has been iterative bumps in performance mm -hmm. on. Yeah, M3 is much faster or not much faster than an M2 and it's better than an M1, but it hasn't changed my workflow. And the iterative approach hasn't been revolutionary. Nope. So when you look at the operating systems, iOS, iPad OS, Mac OS, there hasn't been anything in there that is just so compelling. I gotta have that feature. You know, nope. if I see one more thing about, there's new emojis. I mean, come on, really? We got stickers. Think, yeah, stickers, I mean, so. You know, there, there's updates to the camera, you know, and if you're a pro camera user, fantastic. Then the iPhone 15 should be for you. Yep. you know, but if you're the average user, there's no, I mean, what's wrong with your 12 or my 13? It, it, there's nothing bad about it. Nothing. And the the operating systems haven't just screamed, I need to have that feature. No. Nothing. So, and meanwhile, you know, and of course, they, you know, you got Microsoft over here pushing everything AI. That's a story in itself. Yep. Nothing. But there is some validity to it. At least those are, that's, you know, not iterative, that's innovative. Nothing. And there's a lot of things about that. And that's probably a good follow up video to talk about Copilot and where it's useful and stuff like that and workflows. But then you got an Apple come out over here, killing off the Apple car, you know, uh, making huge investments in VR when nobody's super into VR, as far as I can tell. AR maybe, and then, um, yeah, and then you got them. We're going to jump into AI now, because, but that's a me too moment. When's the last time you heard Apple as being the me too company? Yeah, you and people never are like it when I say this. Ever since when Steve Jobs died and Johnny Ive left, there's nothing new or innovative about it anymore. It's all flash and no substance. It's disheartening for anybody who's been super into the ecosystem. I've been a huge Apple fan for many, many years. And, you know, now we're in March. There's two events I'm waiting for. One, I want to see what the new iPads actually look like. I got a feeling it's going to be a womp womp moment. Nothing that, okay, we moved the camera. It's an OLED screen. It, again, it's a bunch of I don't really care more. that much. Yeah, and it's going to cost more. And now, and uh, now we're waiting for, you know, Qualcomm has got a great ARM processor that's coming down to the pike. Microsoft's doing a ton with AI and we're in a 10th edition uh, surface that could be coming out. That is that the all in one that becomes my tablet and my PC? Is it perfect? No, but I can carry one device instead of owning three and not, and probably spend half the money. Yeah. So it, it's, it's interesting. Um, you know, there's this guy gets into, you know, he's looked at Chromebooks and you, know, you may have to overspend to get a good Chromebook if that actually exists. Nothing. Um, I've never been a huge fan of Chromebooks, so I, I'm just not going to get into it. No, Nothing, I, but, I still call um, those the disposable uh, computers. Yeah. I mean, you know, if you like Chromebooks, go get yourself an old PC and, you know, run the, uh, you know, the Chrome, you can run Chrome on it now, Chrome OS on it now uh, through what, Flex yeah, or something like that. The only thing I don't agree with this guy is he's going full Windows in Android. I can't go back to an Android ecosystem. I, I just, I just can't. No, I, I wouldn't jump over to Android right away. You know, the the only thing that, as the screens get a little bit better for the foldables and some of the new things that we've seen with these curved, you know, screens that I mean, useful yeah, maybe not. Wrist cool. wrap thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, hands down, it's cool. I don't yep. care what anybody says. Is it useful? Yeah, that that could be discussed. Nothing, but there's innovative. That's the innovation that I want to see coming from Apple. And there's going to be a point where, all right, iOS 18. Eh, okay. Nothing super exciting there. Yeah. And if the 16th version of the phone, isn't something really whiz bang, I probably won't upgrade again. 
And now, meanwhile, it's just given more and more time for Samsung and Motorola and on them to make something eventually that is going to just eventually blow my socks off and I'm going to move. Yep. So Yeah. And I don't want this to be negative. This is not a bashing thing. This is just you and I've been talking about this for a while. And this article kind of just tripped the trigger, if you will, of going something needs to change. Yeah. I mean, because so I, resale value of this stuff is and I know that sounds petty or materialistic, but when Intel was was making processors for Apple, those things hold three quarters of their value for God knows ever. M1s are de being devalued almost like when you drive a new car off the lot. Yep. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, it, it's just it's making it hard. So I mean, you know, my bet is that a month from now, um, you know, we post another video, Dave and I will probably talk about the investments we personally made and things that we might trade in to either Best Buy or, you know, wherever to get some trade in value. Yep. And, and you know, what did we replace it with? So I think that's probably a good follow up video, video for this one. Nothing is to talk about do, what path did we end up taking looking out, you know, 30 days from when we post this. Like that's, yeah. Yeah. Let us know. We want a lot of feedback on this one. I mean, like I said, it's, it's not throwing hate. It's just, there's not enough value for us anymore on it. This is just the, the, the way the world is and it's not good enough anymore. Yeah. I, I think, you know, again, we, we, we chatted about this, Dave and I have had this go, we'll go back and forth a couple of times Nothing, and uh, you know, to see other folks post like this, and obviously, you know, the person that posted this this article we have here um, was passionate about it. But we'll we'll throw in the uh, the details and then for this video, a link to this article. And then, yeah. so, if folks want to dive into it and read it a little bit more, uh, feel free. But we'd love to see some comments, some feedback, and uh, you know, what are you going to do? Are you been a long time Apple fan? You're thinking maybe it's time to do something else. Uh, we would love to hear it. Yep, agree. But again, thanks. Thanks, everybody, for all the support. And uh, let us know. Are we completely cracked in the head or, or, or what? Have you had the same feelings? Let us know.